Hey, Steve Chase here. We're going to look at the audit log and the audit history. These are some great tips and tricks to see what's changed inside your QuickBooks account. So the primary difference between an audit log and audit history is audit log is going to show you an update made to the entire QuickBooks database. Usernames, timestamps, what event happened, when it occurred, and you should be able to see that for the entire history since you created a QuickBooks online account. Now the audit history is an individual report based on a particular individual transaction like an invoice. So if you have any invoices that get changed, we would use the audit history report to pull up every revision of a particular transaction. So you've got the audit log is going to be found from the gear icon selecting audit log, whereas the audit history is going to be a button that after you open up a particular transaction you're going to be able to see more at the bottom of the screen then click on audit history so I've got my QuickBooks demo account open that we're going to take a look at the audit log with real quick if you don't have a QuickBooks online account be sure to check the description where I've got a 12 month promotional discount with your QuickBooks subscription that's better than any of the uh, public offers out there on the QuickBooks sites. So let's go with the audit log right off the bat. We're going to select the gear icon and then you're going to be able to see audit log here. Clicking on the audit log brings open the entire database since the creation of the QuickBooks online account. It will show everything. So the first thing that we can look at is we're going to see a column that says date changed. Then we're going to have a user column of what was being changed here. You'll see individual names. You'll, you might see system administration. That is part of the QuickBooks doing something automatically behind the scenes. You're going to see uh, the event. We're going to have a name a, a date column. The date column represents the transactional date. We'll have an amount column when it applies. And then we have the ability to dive deeper inside by viewing the history of any particular uh, transaction you see here. Okay, so let's talk about how you can change some of the settings right off the bat here. So the first thing you can do is you can go to filter and we can select perhaps an individual user if you wanted to drill down just see somebody who's made changes here. You have the ability to do the dates range here so I could go in all dates I, I could go in real quickly um, to specify kind of a target range what you're looking for here. I'm gonna go with this month and then right now it's set for showing all events. Uh, just kind of depends on what you're looking at this as far as how you're going to um, be driving and digging into the details here. So if I click apply, we'll see uh, that information here being applied here. Okay. Um, unfortunately, there's not really a great way to uh, print this to a PDF other than or Excel, other than click on this print list here, and that's really. Um, the opportunities that you see here as far as that goes here. So you could save it as a, a PDF in this particular moment here. You could also cancel out of this and another trick would be to go in and copy and paste this grid-like view. You could copy that and paste it into an Excel spreadsheet if you were trying to do some tune-ups and to dive deeper for a, a larger amounts of uh, time frame here. So I've copied it. Now I'm going to attempt to make a paste. And there you go, right there. We've got um, the data into Excel where we could then perhaps do further analysis on it inside Microsoft Excel. Sometimes you might want to see who made a deletion of 
a particular event. So we can go into the filter again and go down and specify transactions and then have the ability to just focus on any transactions that have been deleted or voided. All right, so the difference between a delete and a void, a delete's going to delete it for good, whereas a void is going to zero out the actual transaction event. I'm just going to share with you real quick here on a recent invoice that has we're going to look at here. So I've got an invoice that's opened here. Below, we're going to see the More button. And from here, we're going to be able to see when you click on the More button, you're going to have the ability to void, which would basically take any number that you see in the amount. It would zero these out completely. Okay. The, the advantage of voiding something is that later down the road, you can see the entire history and easily uh, bring it back to life by typing over the zeros into the, the right numbers here. But if you delete anything in QuickBooks Online, it is going to delete the whole transaction, just like the word suggests delete. And the only way to recreate it is completely from scratch. So it's helpful to be able to see um, the differences between voiding and deleting. Now, what I'd like to share with you is how to see revisions of this particular invoice 1088. I'm going to click More and then select Audit History. Again, Audit History simply means that we're looking at the entire history of a particular transaction, one specific transaction. So when I open up the history of this invoice, at the top it will show me what I'm looking at. So here's the invoice number 1088. We have these black triangles that will show you each time that the invoice here has changed. So I know here that on August 27th, 9.48 a.m., the invoice was first saved and the balance was 75000 Then we can see here that the invoice was made updated and it was changed to the, the date 8-2. After that, I can see that the invoice balance was changed in this particular model here we can see that at this point in time it's 10,000 the balance okay then to, on September 3rd we see that um, this user here Steve Chase was in there and changed the invoice to add three quantities at 542.48 and made the subscription revenues go up and be, and so that caused the balance to go up and you can see where I'm going with this here is we can open up each iteration here to see what has happened in this case no numbers were changed but the message was added thank you for your business added inside the, the customer message area here address is updated um, anytime you see indirect edit then that's possible that like an email was sent out or it was indirectly reconciled behind the scene here who got an alert saying the email was undeliverable address change another amount changed here and I can see right here you know we had three now it's a two okay so that is a really detailed look at the history of this particular invoice here. Another option that you have in the upper right hand corner is compare. And what's nice about the compare screen here is you will see everything that has changed here. We have the ability to click show changes only okay, to be able to see information there and then basically you have to go one at a time to see kind of this is could be helpful here to see changes made okay you can see okay here's was the original amount here and see how it was changed 
on these particular timestamps here. So just to recap, um, in order to see any changes that have happened, you need to first open up the invoice and then click on the more button below where you're going to see that. So we just simply come down to the bottom and click on the more and you'll have audit history. Okay. To see ch database changes for the entire QuickBooks, we would click on the gear icon and then select inside the gear icon, we would select the audit log. And that is going to give us the entire database, which then we could, when make the selections, we could then go in, drill down to the particular date that you're looking for, push everything out, all events or specific events apply. And remember that if you want to see this information into Microsoft Excel, you're going to first go into the print mode, cancel out of this print dialog box, and then copy and paste from this grid view here into Microsoft Excel, which should come in nice and neat into each of the cell grids there. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.